We were flying back from a family vacation, and I got horny on the plane, and I was like, I'm gonna go jerk off. And it's just taking fucking forever. Flight attendant knocks on the door, <laughs> and I'm like, sorry. And then the door starts opening, and I'm like, ah, stop, what are you doing? And she goes, sir, you need to get out of the bathroom. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And I opened the door. The other bathroom was out of order, and there's a line of like 12 <laughs> people <laughs> waiting to use the bathroom. Oh my God. I was probably in there for 30 minutes. Oh. So now, like, fat me has to like, excuse, excuse me. You have like a half chub. <laughs> yeah. They walk in, it smells like dick. <laughs> you just have to squeeze by this poor old lady that needs to take a shit. And my dad's like, what happened? I go, foot got stuck. That's what you came that's up the, All you had to say was, shit. I was constipated. Yeah. No, foot got stuck. Foot got yeah. stuck. He goes, ah, okay. Thanks no for telling me you <laughs> jerked off. Welcome to Tummy Time. Welcome to Tummy Time. Welcome to Tummy Time. I'm Neil. I'm Justin. That's Art in the booth. Hello, world. What's up, Art? Uh, we got a very special guest today. He's a funny stand-up comedian in Austin, Texas. He has a podcast called Highly Social. He's open for Louis C.K. His name is Mike Eaton. Hey. Hello. What's Can up, you guys hey, hey, what's up, Mike? Uh, hello. Uh, hi. Hi. What's hi. up, dude? The reason I mentioned here I am. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I mentioned Louis C.K. is because he is the best stand-up comedian of all time, and I'm yeah. like. In, endlessly fascinated with the fact that you got to open for him. I'm, that's so awesome. It was bonkers. It still doesn't feel real. Here's a picture of it, by the way. Oh, yeah. Wow. Of him looking not impressed. Oh, no. He <laughs> looks pissed, dude. And you look, you're the happiest you've ever been. He's ever. the most, he's just the most yin and yang right here. Look at this. And there's Ariel Isaac Norman. Oh, so, she's in as well. The best part of this is I, uh, so I'm in the green room and I'm sitting there with Ariel. We're both like, is he here yet? Is he here? Yet? And we're all nervous. And then he shows up and he walks in and we're both silent. And he's like, mm, hello. You know? <laughs> like, just hello. be a Louie. And then uh, so he asked how long we've been doing it. And Ariel says, you know, eight or nine years or whatever she's at. And then I say four. And he goes, <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh, I should have lied. I should have lied. I should have lied. I should have lied. I and then, uh, yeah, because he's like, he's like, this person, this person's gonna open the show that I'm on, this four year comic. Bingo. Yeah. yeah. He's like, fuck, another one of these, you know, douchebag social climbers or something. You know, I don't, I don't know what his assumptions right. are. But so the, we're sitting there in the green room before and we're kind of chatting. And then, excuse me. And then Louis asks Ariel what she does besides comedy. She says, oh, well, right now I'm editing uh, my sister's children's book. It's about lesbian mermaids. And Louis says, oh, interesting. And I said, talk about a smelly pussy. <laughs> Double fish it, pussy. And it bombs. <laughs> <laughs> and both Louis and Ariel both like. <laughs> yeah. Well, can, can we just talk about that for a second? Okay, one, she's a fish. The yeah. mermaid. Yeah. Number two, yeah. it's closed in. She, you're not getting any air into that, yeah. that, that mermaid pussy. Yeah. yeah. So. You're right. I, I mean, it, I don't know if it's funny, but it's it's factual. <laughs> it <Go wasn't>. <laughs> but it was just one of those moments where I was like, all right, I'm going to never speak ever again for the rest of my life. <laughs> You're like, yeah, Louis, I am opening for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but it. So, so wait, did they say anything after that? So it's silent for a minute. And like Louis think about it. And then I'm saved by the bell when Joe Rogan and Tony Hinchcliffe walk into oh, okay. the green okay. room. <laughs> and, I was like, and then Louis says. <laughs> hey, me, to uh, Joe, Joe, where do you think a mermaid's pussy would be? And Joe, without skipping a beat, is like, well, fish don't really have a pussy. Like, the, the male fish, like, comes on the eggs, and, like, the girl fish lays the eggs. So, like, I don't even think, like, a mermaid would technically have a pussy. That's such yeah. a Joe Rogan and, like, answer, Immediately dude. going uh -huh. into, like, science and fish, and then I'm just sitting there like, ha, <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's kind of better than a laugh. You ins yeah. uh, you inspired, I mean, it's not better than a laugh, but it's it's a nice consolation prize that you uh, You don't have to make me feel better about it. <laughs> <laughs> I bombed. It's okay. The shows went well, though. That's, so that's good. Yeah, that's all that matters. Mattered. That is. So there was, was it one night that you opened up? Or one night. So the thing that happened was normally he has Joe List open for him. Yeah, I love Joe List. And him and Joe List were coming in town to do Rogan to talk about their movie right. that they'd put out. Yeah. But Joe List was at Mark Norman's bachelor party. So ah. he couldn't be in town for the first night of shows. So for the second night, Ariel hosted, Joe featured, and then, or someone else, I can't, maybe Colton hosted, gotcha. Joe featured. But the first night, I got to host, Ariel featured, and then Louis went. That's great. Very cool. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a, the coolest experience in the world because, one, Louis doesn't do, like, shows that size ever. Right. So to only yeah. have 200 people seeing the fucking goat is insane. And then, two, 
after I bring him on stage, I get to sit in a room about half the size of this, six feet from the stage, watching from an angle that no one else has. Literally, look, I can see his notes. You know, I can see when he picks up the Bible, the stuff that he did at the live at Dolby or whatever, yeah, like yeah. that was the stuff he was working right. on. So him doing like all the Bible stuff and his post-it notes in his Bible, like seeing all that, it's like, man, that's... That that's is cool. cool. Wait, was that... Was he doing ACL... Wait, was that... What? What did I see him? I think it was no, it was uh, yeah, it was ACL at Mooney Theater or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Um, was was that the same week? You think? Mm -mm. Okay, he must have come back and done. Yeah, it. he came back. Yeah, because because uh, I saw that one. That was cool. Ariel actually opened for him. Yeah. when I saw that, she uh, ended up touring with him and stuff. It was, yeah, uh, that's really awesome. Cool. She yeah, did like New like, Orleans like, cool relationship. And, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and then yeah, um, dude, M mermaid pussy. Yeah, <laughs> what, a, what a wild time. How do you think it would be? Uh, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out on it. I didn't. I like. There's enough normal, just girl pussy I out see. there. Yeah, I see. I just, it's like what you want to fuck a fish. I would just let it suck me. I would let it use Ooh, the human yeah, half no. of this cool tit. Oh, I was thinking, can, like, I was thinking cool the top, dude, dude, hold on. Yeah. I was thinking the top part was the fish. The bottom part was the pussy. Oh. <laughs> My mermaids are different. Worst mermaid ever. Dude. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I would have asked Joe Rogan. Just go, walking around on land with a bubble of water <laughs> over his head. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mermaid too. Nobody ever talks about us. Yeah. <laughs> well, fucking hide your pussy. Want some puss? <laughs> don't. I oh, no. don't. They started talking because before uh, Mothership had opened up, and so they started talking like numbers and logistics for like filming stuff and like how much it costs to have certain kinds of lights oh, yeah. and shit like that. And they started talking those numbers and I was like, I just walked away. I was like, I don't need to be a part of yeah, this conversation. Millions and millions. Yeah. It's just like, it's, it's nothing I can even relate to. Oh, and right. I'm just going to stand there like, Oh yeah. You're like, if you guys want to talk you about, you should get the lights. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you guys want to talk about fish, but I'll be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know what diamonds are? <laughs> yeah. I'll smoke you out. And then Joe's like, I'm like bathing in DMT, bro. You can't yeah. touch me. <laughs> I've done more DMT than Joe Rogan. Are oh you sure? God, what yeah. a, what He's only done it like a handful of times. Oh really? I thought he yeah. had a whole sleep deprivation chamber filled with DMT that he just soaks in. No, it, it doesn't <laughs> uh, absorb that way. You gotta, oh, you gotta smoke it. Uh, I had a misconception. Thank yeah. you for clearing that up. Uh, I mean, you can drink it, but yeah. it's got to be activated. Yeah. <laughs> really? Tell me about DMT. I'm interested in it. Uh, so I have only done, I think it's NN. I haven't done 5-MEO. Yeah, that's but what I've, I hear about. I've done uh, quite a bit of I blasted off, you know, 20, 30 times. I've done it 100 times in a night. I mean, like me. Because it's very my, short, yeah? Yeah, it's 20 minutes in and out. Hey. It's fucking great. I There was uh, a mic in... North Hollywood that me and my buddy Frank would go to and we would go and sign up and then we would go to my car, <laughs> blast off on DMT, go and check and see how soon the, the list is going out and then we'd find it and we'd go blast off again and then come <laughs> back. One time I came back and I was still like all tingly and shit like, oh, and then like I had to get up on stage. Nice. The open mic. How it went fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, once you're back in reality, you're just back in reality. But it, what I, I had to stop doing it because you start to realize like whatever that place you're going to is so much better than here. Yeah. And then you're just like, I want to die. Yeah. Why am I here <laughs> when I can be there? Yeah. What's the passage of time out there? Um, it I never had like really extreme time dilation. Yeah. Um, it it's not uh it's you don't really have any of the physical markers that you I would see. associate with time. Like here, you know, when you're sitting there, like you can feel your breath going in and out. You can kind of feel the pulse of time going forward, but up there you're completely dissociated from your body. So you're now just like in essence, in essence, you know, mm -hmm. so you're just up there and like the other things, whatever they are, you're recognizing that they are things, but they don't have like a shape or a form because everything is constantly. So you're not experiencing time rotating. whatsoever then. Yeah. You're not, well, you're not outside long, of time. And, okay. Uh, time is where we are and wherever you're going is outside of it. Wow. But that's why there's like a difficulty with remembering what's happening there because time is what necessitates memory. Oh, yeah. So Jesus Christ, dude. What about Salvia? I hate it. So dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Look, one day well, this is it's kind of a survey we do for every every single guest that comes on the podcast. But uh one of these days we're gonna find someone that loves it. I, How many times have you done it? It's like ten twenty. Wow. I did it in a high school bunch and it was just like always hoping it would be like you would get one from the smoke shop and it would be like this is the 20x and then you and your buddy would smoke it and you'd hold it in forever and then wait 20 times a normal salvia whatever the fu they that's they how had, they like, felt they had, yeah. the, the potency would just like say how strong it was yeah and so you, you would just try and buy and the you go, i don't i don't i don't like 1x very much but maybe if i could do 20x it's yeah. gonna be great well the 1x is like oh i just felt like kind of itchy and i didn't really see much and then like <laughs> if you do itchy. the 20x you're like 
Oh, the world's splitting in half. My whole family's going inside. No. Like, you know, like one, of the, one time when we were driving back from the smoke shop, my buddy hit it in the back seat, and then he thought I was just driving into oncoming traffic, so proceeded to choke me out while I'm driving. Oh, no. And my friend in the passenger seat has to like fight off. A yeah, you got to punch like, him. We're all football players on essentially steroids that are just ripped <laughs> to the gills, and one of them is choking me out while I'm driving, and the other's fighting him. And it's just like, Salvia sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so Dude, weird. Dude, our most, yeah. our most popular clip on TikTok, TikTok. is Salvia, yeah. and it's because we put it on. He puts it on Reddit, and people there's like a subreddit of guys that will that love Salvia. And I've they, met some of them. Who are these guys? I met someone in LA, and he was like, "Dog, you just haven't done it right." And it's like, I did one X, I did twenty X. <laughs> yeah, twenty I've times. Done all of the, it's like the people that are into kratom. Yeah, uh, like just grow up and do pills like a man. Yeah, do fucking <laughs> fentanyl, <laughs> dude. Yeah, <laughs> go get some fucking perk thirties. Stop being a bitch with your blue vein or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. try. Oh, to get... it's natural. Yo no, Kratom... it's fake. Yokratom.com slash tummy time. Check it out. <laughs> 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 they are everywhere right now. Aren't yeah, they? Jesus Christ, they're heavy with it. You mentioned uh, football. So you're like a you are a you're a tall man. I I'm I'm not tall enough. I would have oh, gone okay. so much further if I was if. <laughs> I, so I played football in high school for like a really big deal high school team wow. in Texas, and then I tried to go play in college, and I was too short to go D1. Really? Uh, what are you, 6'2"? 6'1". Really? Six, six, and too like, short? everybody was just like, you need to be 6'3 or 6'4 if you Damn. want to be a D1 offensive lineman. Were you, uh, were you getting it in a lot in high school? Not until I, I lied and told everyone I was getting laid. Like, she goes to another school. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> yeah. They always do. Did you, did you have a name? No, I may, I would show pictures of girls I found on like 4chan and stuff and be like, look, she's real. <laughs> yeah, I was oh such a fucking God. loser. And then your friends are like, yeah, that's my girlfriend too. <laughs> yeah. Nah, they, they, they all knew and made fun of me behind my back. But then by the time I was 16, uh, I lost my virginity anyway. It's a story I tell on stage because it's so ridiculous, but it's real. Is uh, The girl that I lost my virginity to uh, got pregnant. And it was in a, like, me and my buddy tag teamed her. So we didn't oh know whose it was. Oh, my God. So no we had to way. split an abortion at 16. <laughs> you all had to go judge? Her to you all went judge on a fucking abortion? Yeah. <laughs> they, they, literally, there was a moment where me and him are sitting in the waiting room, and she's back getting the slurp and scurp. And, and then <laughs> we walk up to the window, and the lady is just confused. And I'm like, we're going to split it. And she's just like. Oh my god! Yeah, they don't. They, they normally don't split the ticket. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, dude, you know how restaurants make you? They, they some of them don't let you split the ticket. Or I think gratuity for parties of two or more. Yeah. If I was an abortion <laughs> clinic, I would go. You're not. Did work this out some other? Like Doug, this was 2007. Venmo didn't even exist yeah, yet. All right. True. This was like we both had bank. our dad's credit card, and we're like nervous about oh it. Oh my god! That's gonna show up. Did well, that's the funny part. It, the I don't talk about this part, but the real thing that happened is like. Uh, I my dad's card I've been using it for everything so mine gets declined so then he ha That's ends up having to pay for all of it <laughs> and then I like have to write an agreement agreeing to pay him back so that he doesn't get in trouble That's funny it's a whole thing and that so like the lady thing. in the front is just like he could have just you yeah could, like, you, like you didn't have to bring me into your life story <laughs> yeah Wow, yeah. dude, that's wild. That was yeah. your first time? Yes, yeah, so that was my first time. And that's then a nice after that, it was just like, I'm just going to, any girl that will let me. Yeah. So I was just. Did you wrap it up after it? that? No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, did you learn a little? <laughs> oh, I want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck not condoms, a chance. dude. Not not a anti condom yeah. podcast. Yeah, condoms are disgusting. Yeah, they're yeah. perverted. Listen, I, what's your favorite food? Uh, steaks. 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 Amazing. So imagine you go and sit down at Perry's and mm. they bring you out. Just, it's a perfect. Mm. A mate, they got a big side of chimichurri. Yeah, you hey. got fucking some compound butter on the hey. side, and then they cut off a slice, and then oh. they dip it, and then they reach the drippy, melty, perfect cooked piece of steak towards your mouth, and then right before you eat it, you saran wrap your tongue. <laughs> oh, a dental dam? Yeah. Are you yeah. gonna fucking enjoy it? Not, yeah, no. not a chance, not dog. A chance. I would eat my fucking steak. I'm not wrapping my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take my chances with the steak. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. I could use AIDS. I'm getting heavy. You know. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. Bad news, dude. They kind of cured it. So. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you probably yeah, I keep heard your weight. Did. I'll start taking. Uh, I'll start taking the pills like after like sixty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to yeah, wait. Just let me. Just let me. Everyone's gonna be like, Ozempic, uh, AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. Yeah, you got that new new. That's fucking funny. There's a new course of treatment. Yeah. They have Ozempic, but if you want turbo weight loss, <laughs> they give you AIDS and then they give you prep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus. Dang, that abortion. So on when you do that on stage, I guess it I guess it works, right? It's not yeah. does it bum people out or you have you've obviously figured it out. It's uh because it, it's pretty heavy. Fixed, yeah, the way I don't really tell it much anymore yeah. because it, it just felt hacky because the end of it I when me and him go up to the window, I say we're gonna split it. She looks confused, and I say the check, not the kid. Yeah, and, and, then, and then the lady behind the the counter gets upset and says, "Check, sir, this is not a Chili's." Yeah, and then I say, "No one comes here because they want their baby back, <laughs> baby back, baby back, baby back." And then I, it was a Chili's joke I mean, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, the entire time. Yeah, and then people nice. are like, "You fat piece of shit." They forget that I just <laughs> talked about abortions because I said ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Chili's, yeah. but I stopped doing it because I like I was thinking like, man, I wonder if like younger people are understanding what this is a reference to. That commercial came out like two years. ago after 9 11. Oh, yeah, wow. For sure. <laughs> it's so old. Have you seen that guy's funeral? There was a TV show where they did like extra, oh, uh, extra, extra, extra wait, like crazy scrubs? funerals. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> I can't remember what the TV show was, but they. They put on massive, crazy funerals for people. That's uh, such a cool show. And so, it, and they did one for the guy. Because this is the best funeral ever. I mean, that. Go to like where they're bringing in the Listen, casket. My funeral, and shit. the pigs in the casket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, this, <laughs> this is like a different. It would might. T- oh wait. Yeah. See, there. This is the Ooh, casket. He's in a barbecue a casket, <laughs> and everybody's singing. Oh, baby, baby back, back ribs. ribs. Barbecue sauce. Yeah. So this is the wait. This is the guy who wrote it, or the, just the guy? Yeah, that the sang guy it? who sang it. Okay, the guy that sang it. I mean, this is this is how you do a this fucking decade. This is upsetting. <laughs> well, you're Why? upset. You don't, you don't want yeah. this kind of funeral. No. Do you see how happy they are? Oh, that's, that's how. Oh, you want, I want to be, everyone to be sad. Oh my god, I want to be dude. gutted. You're a really? monster. my funeral. I'm god. I said this the other day. The only reason I haven't killed myself oh, look is because <gasps> I couldn't see the Instagram post about it afterwards. I know <laughs> that does suck. How about this? So you don't want it to be like kind of a, like a, everyone's really sad, but then they have a nice. They like Awake. they laugh and they're having a good time. You know, like I think. You don't want them to have a single good fucking time. I want know. there to be uh, like two or three hours of of Morning. like people trying to tell fun stories and like they like start to laugh and then the they tears, the tears just roll. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then at the end, there's an open bar and everyone just gets rip roaring drunk. Fights break out. Yeah, it devastates Some the community. Some of them fuck each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how Twelve many, DUIs at least. Oh, how many nice. women do you want throwing on your ca- throwing themselves at your casket? All of them. Every single one I've paid for their abortion. Yeah. <laughs> I want them all to come well, back. Wait, 25 people? Yeah. 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah. The woman who we went half seas with, she's only going to be like, yeah. me, like one hand. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to be there with the other guy holding hands. Like, Well, he technically paid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to throw. So he's throwing himself on your casket. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Ethan. <laughs> I mean, you got to be friends for at least a couple more years. Can I show you something I just noticed? Yeah. Check out the name of this uh, pastor. Pastor Eaton. Oh, no way. What the wow. hell? Look at him, dude. Oh. <laughs> I hope at the end of this. Is this your all. uncle? Uh, you know, generally when... Uh, People from the South meet black people with the same surname. There's not like a happy story behind oh, yeah. it. <laughs> There's usually snus. like a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> Provenance, if you will. Yeah, kind of, I mean, but kind of a, a bubber like, that we don't talk about. You know? <laughs> You're kind of cousins in kind of a weird way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We're all cousins yeah. in the tree of life. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, don't bring up trees. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with trees? Nothing at oh, all. Oh no! <laughs> it got dicey. It did. Um, it got real dicey, dude. Uh, <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking about? Is this what happens on Tummy Tabby? Yeah, uh, almost always. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Yeah. It's Give me one of those. Can Justin say it? Can he? <laughs> what do you think? Can I'm he? taking a poll. Oh. The N word? Yeah. yeah. Not a chance. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Right, dude. Not a Fine, chance. Fine, dude. Take a DNA test to see I didn't if you could. Uh, you didn't need to. No, I know. <laughs> you I wasted know. your money, sir. You should I have know. charged him for that and then just not sent it off. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, I said no. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Uh, no, I wanted the whole breakdown. Uh, yeah, they didn't bring that, put that in. That yeah. Way. Yeah, they did tell me specifically why and how I can't say the N word. Like Norway, England. Yeah. yeah. Is that marijuana? No, but it could be. <laughs> nope. But it can be. It did sound like, honestly, it sounded like I was a cop when I said that. Yeah, is that marijuana? Wait, is that drugs? Well, Sir! Yeah. No. Uh, Neil's, Neil's baked right now anyway, so bit. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is kind of like oh. Highly Social, your podcast. Oh, sure. Um, 
talked about Louis. Louis's the best comedian of all time, isn't he? He really is. Uh, he was. He's my favorite. My other favorite besides him that I think only gets mentioned in comedy circles is Daniel Tosh. Oh, yeah, oh, he's great. Wow. My dad took me to see him when I was probably 12 or 13. Oh, that rules. We go, and he has a joke about how uh, women that are on, like, hormone therapy so they can get pregnant uh, is just God telling them they shouldn't be a mother. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe if you weren't such, like, a cunt in your 20s, you'd be a mother in your 30s. <laughs> you know? And he said that in a... A couple, like a few rows in front of us, a woman stood up and screamed, Fuck you! <laughs> and started crying. And me and my dad fell out of our chairs laughing at her. You're doing IVF because <laughs> you're. Sp- oh Tell us God. you're on hormones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hormones. Yeah. You emotional bitch. <laughs> That's such a nice story of you and your dad bonding on being monsters to oh, this, uh, these two people. <laughs> It's, my dad taught me to laugh like it's such another because he would laugh at the most inappropriate shit all the time and like he would get you know my stepmom would you know smack him like, stop you know and stop. and I just that made it funnier you know laughing at stuff at church you know point at the old people falling asleep it's a great uh, time farting I mean yeah hundred percent and uh, you you see someone fall yeah. <laughs> funny every oh, time absolutely. you know how can it not be you see uh like someone goes to open the door and there's a toddler and the door just smacks the shit yeah, out of the toddler like that. i'm gonna laugh for five minutes wow. that's incredible i was gonna yeah. say i don't really for some reason when i see someone fall it I, I, it doesn't really tickle my funny bone but when i see a toddler just getting very just getting injured something about that really gets me. <laughs> so the the mascots versus children football games oh, so good I, that I might be taking that. over for for a while, I've been obsessed with Down's internet, yeah. but I think that <laughs> Down's the, the, Twitter, yeah, dude. Tell me about <laughs> it. Down's Tell Instagram, about it. yeah. Downstagram, brother. The, so I it started off. I found out about Get Down with Sean and Marley. Yeah, and they are friends in Australia. They're Chinese and Australian, and they're Downs and they cook. <laughs> And oh, I've, I think I've oh, those clips. guys are great. They're Wait, awesome. they're looking for like yeah. a wooden spoon. Is yeah, that yeah awesome? exactly. Yeah. I didn't know and, they were Australian. They had different accents. <laughs> dude, it's I. The whole thing. It's perfect. weird. It's like no matter where you live on the world, if you're if you have Down syndrome, you sound the same. Yeah, it's funny. But it's well, they no, they got special. Oh, they got they, they got a special accent. There's a video they have. I Hot. talk about this Hot. shit on stage too because I fucking love them. But they they have a video where Sean tries sparkling water on accident. Oh no. oh no! Like Spicy. they're in a kitchen with these chefs and they're filming a video and they're like, "You guys want water? Like, still or sparkling?" And Marley goes, "Sparkling." And then Sean goes, <laughs> and then he drinks it. He's like, <laughs> and he just keeps yeah. drinking. It's fucking awesome. Dude. That's probably oh, what I did when I had so sparkling good. water for the first time. I it's go. so great, dude. <laughs> yeah. But so I start watching them and then I started getting suggested other Downs people. So right. then there's like Chef Adam Libby, wow. who's a guy here in America, and he has like vintage Pyrex. Like collection, yeah. Like he cooks awesome stuff, yeah. but he's good. It's really funny because when they show him cutting anything, it'll be a really tight shot, and you notice that the hands look different. Oh, yeah. so it's like no. his mom's coming in to use the knife. No, 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 no. Let's not let Adam use the knife again. <laughs> oh no. And then there's like another guy, and they've solved that problem by giving him a slap chop. So oh, he I just like it. yes, I've seen that guy too. His, his whole thing is wash my damn hands. <laughs> <laughs> that guy so fucking good. rules. That's his. That's his like that's his emerald. emerald uh, there you go. He's got t-shirts. <laughs> He's got everything where he gets ready for it. And he goes first thing, wash my damn hands, and then he just <laughs> washes those big old goofball grubby bits, <laughs> and then he gets to cooking. But like so, they it's it's just cooking Instagram, but with Downs people doing it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they're so sweet and happy, yeah. And then I started finding Clayton, Clayton Biggs. Bigsby. Uh, he's no, just Biggs. <laughs> okay. But he's he's I know I wish, yeah. but <laughs> absolutely. He's another Australian. If that guy, guy had Down syndrome, <laughs> yeah, that would make Dude, a lot more sense. A black the, uh, Klansman with Down syndrome yeah. is. Awesome. It's, but, yeah, yeah. But this is just an Australian guy with Down syndrome. He was on, so this is when I knew my world was getting fucked up. Is Sean and Marley had Clayton as a guest? Oh, the crossover. Mm. So they did a Dowd's crossover, and Holy I was like, shit. I literally like set like a reminder in my phone to watch like, the premiere. <laughs> I am not missing this shit. No, no way am I missing is, this shit. I've tried to show it to other people, and I realize I just look cruel because I'm just going. Ha, ha. <laughs> but you're in on the jokes. I love them. Yeah, yeah. it's not laughing. They're at doing them. bits. They are having a great time. Time. Absolutely. They they want you to laugh. So Clayton's thing is he loves chicken burgers. It was chicken burger. Mm-hmm. It's his favorite. He With does the a chicken burger dance. And his brother is Did like- Is a chicken burger dance? He made one. Okay. Oh, cool. It's it's not much. It's, okay. You just kind of shake a little I didn't bit. think it would be much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's pretty good. But, uh, <laughs> it's masterful enough. choreo. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> 
but he's got an older brother who's like this like good looking EDM one earring like oh, uh, hipster guy uh, in Australia. Also Downs? Uh, no. Okay. Normal. He's got he's got yeah, uh, he's a little he's Australian, so he's a little oh, tarted. But like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but a little so bogan they make videos together, so he'll be like, Hey, big Clayto, what, what do you prefer ass or tits? <laughs> and then Clayton goes, Chippies. What are chippies? Fries. 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 Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucking love yeah. that yeah. so much. Heart of gold, dude. I mean, yeah. they, they film sketches where like the their friends will all be playing rugby and they'll be pretending to lose. And then it's like, it's time to get out big Clyde And then they slap the like garage bin and he comes out and he balls through everybody. I love it, yeah. <laughs> dude, it rules. It's so stupid. I do want to say though, let's not let's not like uh misinform the people. Uh Down syndrome kids do love tits though. Oh. They like chippies more, but they yeah. still love a big old fat pair of milk. Sure. Milkers. Dude, they're awesome. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Down's people rule. I so and it just makes me happy that they are taking over the internet. Because I would way rather watch someone with Down syndrome than someone with a similar IQ that just has a normal face. Yeah. It's just like I could do a dance. <laughs> please, <laughs> like, please don't you're retarded. Show me someone <laughs> yeah. with Down syndrome. Clayton's not, you yeah. are. Yeah. You are, you dumb bitch. <laughs> you dumb <laughs> Oh, bitch. you did a mukbang? Kill yourself. I want to watch. I want to watch the... Clayton do a mukbang. Yeah. Or, or, it's or all chicken sandwiches. One. And he only, and he only eats one because yeah. he's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> he eats one and he goes mess, mess. <laughs> Does he watch his damn hands out of the butt? He oh, freaks yeah. out. It's really? awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I get it, dude. Yeah, me too, dude. Now I need to wash my damn hands. Oh, dude, they'll hand him like a, a bag with something else in it, and they'll be like, Ch "Here's your chicken bag, of Clayton," and he'll pull it out and like. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, like shit. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. You don't fuck with Clayton. I've thoroughly satiated the part of my brain that enjoys the Downs content, and it's almost getting to be too much. Yeah. yeah. Because now it's that's all I get, and, and it's all anybody sends me, so my algo's purely fucked. But I've started watching... Uh, there, there only appears to be like two or three times that they've done this, mm -hmm. but it's mascots versus peewee football. Absolutely. What are mascots? What do you mean? Like the like actual mascots? Yeah, yeah, like the guys the that are mascot. dressed in the thing. The big eagles. But they tires. are playing as a you know seven-man squad against 11. So adults in costumes yes. versus children? And they are just trucking these fucking kids. I love that. They, like, they go full bore? Oh, hardcore. Yeah. And see because exploding. they're mascots, they're used to doing like very uh, taunting and ridiculous things with their suits and their bodies. So it just looks like a giant cartoon blue horse just trucked a kid and then humped and fucking teabagged him. <laughs> and it's just like, that's so cool. <laughs> that's very so cool. Damn, dude, just taunting these little kids. Yeah, look at no, look wait, at these look at these kids. Uh -huh. Look, at, these look at all the hope in their heart. Look at them. <laughs> how oh, do you look get, at that little wait, chunker. Do you see number 65? That was me. He's fat. <laughs> how do you think they're getting these kids here? Uh... A, a bus? Yeah, some kind no, of bus. No, I mean, like, nah, they, their they're parents probably drove. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, fuck you, kid. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Not in oh, my house. Oh, wow. He's good. This this kid's yeah, good. Yeah, he did record oh, but oh. not today. <laughs> not today, son. Not today. Oh, he helping him up. That's pussy ass yeah, shit. No, no dude, that rules. He just threw it by his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> he just tackled that kid by pushing his helmet into the I ground. I didn't see a flag, ref. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see <laughs> you don't get, No, dude, if the refs threw a flag in this game, I'd they shoot fucking, them. Yeah. But watch. Watch how he tackles him. Look. Here, I'll just push your head. Not today. <laughs> Dude, you're right. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. And look, they're just oh, oh, fucking buggers. They're talking shit, Damn. dude. Yeah. Dude, that's nasty. Just having way too much wow. fun. I love you're it. You're right about that. That was great. So I um, I got to coach Pee Wee football. I had uh, I gotten a fireworks ticket, and so I had to do oh, community wait. service to pay oh, it off. Oh, JT also had a... Wait. Did somebody else have a I fireworks ticket? But I, I got anyway. to do community service to work it off, and I had a friend whose son played Pee Wee, and he was like, you play college football, why don't you just come coach these kids? I'll sign off all your fucking hours. Oh, cool. And I was like, oh, bet. Let's do that. Yeah. So I'm coaching these kids, and I taught like all of the offensive and defensive linemen just how to sell out and like really play hard. And just like stuff that like just to make it more fun, mm -hmm. not anything to do with like it. Just here's good technique because you'll be able to hurt people more. Yeah. So I, like I just got these kids that have no dads, like just super fun. <laughs> so you gave them hyper aggressive techniques. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. So, but here's the best fucking thing. One of the games, uh, one of the other assistant coaches d couldn't make it, so I got to be the like defensive coach. So for that, you get to be on the field with oh, these kids. Wow. So it's essentially Madden. You get to call plays, <laughs> but you just get to like, so you go up to the middle linebacker like, as soon as I say go, you're going to sprint and dive over the center. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, coach. And then you go, 
go. Because you, you're watching this little kid about nervous to snap the ball. Uh-huh. I played center. I know he's going to snap it. So then I just tapping this kid on his fucking butt pad. And he's sorted and sacking. <laughs> so the game that I played, they, uh, the other team forfeited halftime because we were winning 77 to nothing. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Shit, you got them to rage quit? Hey, dude, and this is because most of the time on in these games, they have like kind of a sportsman show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, with, oh, it's, it's children. <laughs> like, yeah, let's, not, be nice. let's not humiliate them. We don't call reverses. We don't call any of that. They let me do offense, and I'm just like, dude, <laughs> fleet flicker. Oh, shit. <laughs> also, what strikes Actually, my play was give it to the black kid. <laughs> He's really fast, and <laughs> we're going to have a pulling him. guard and a fast black kid <laughs> scored every time. Yeah, excellent. Dude, it sounds like you uh, missed your calling, which is to be a coach for, <laughs> a coach kids. for kids. To be an evil peewee coach. Yeah. Well, you can win state. Oh, dude. <laughs> no, in also, this sounds like this sounds suspiciously like the plot of Mighty Ducks, oh, no. where oh, Gordon Bombay no. gets in trouble with uh, for a DUI, and which yours was fireworks, and then yeah. he had to go uh, coach kids. That's so cool. Yeah, that so is you're kind of like the Gordon Bombay. Yeah, this uh, little Pee Wee League. I swear to God, if our goalie does crack, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh, like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, go, go, go. I totally forgot about that guy. Speaking of crack, I have it written down here that you've done crack. I oh. have. Do you want to talk about doing crack? It's, it's fine. It's uh, it's not like I, I don't, like uh, I expected it to be better. Oh, wow. Did you hear everybody joke about, like, I'd suck dick for crack? And it's yeah. like, I, I got to try something that's that good. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. If, if people that wouldn't normally suck dick are sucking dick because they want this thing so bad, and I can just buy this thing for $20. Right. Without having to suck dick. Yeah. But you wouldn't even smooch someone for crack, sounds like. No, I I, I wouldn't I would, I would even spend money on it. It's yeah, not even yeah. worth Damn. the time oh, and effort. Because wow. it's just... First off, nothing makes you feel more like a crackhead than smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever, you ever think about that, Neil? Think about that. <laughs> Ways to feel like crackhead. <laughs> yeah, it does probably feel dirty. Well, so the guy that, uh, so my buddy like had like a dealer and he met us in West Hollywood and he jumped out of a bush to meet us. So not, that great, was not a great sign. <laughs> wild introduction. He's wearing a like very well fitted three piece suit, which is confusing for a bush person. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we bought $20 of crack and he reached inside of his grill and fished it out a double bagged crack rock. And then we Is it bad that I was already imagining a black guy? And then yes, and then yeah. we pushed. We uh, I didn't even say the color of his skin. You got it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean there was a lot of <laughs> indicators. He, uh, he, we bought a, a ten dollar bag as well, and then he fished from a separate part of his mouth. No, for $10. so he has crack assorted in his mouth. <laughs> I by was weight, wondering how which they is cool <laughs> by That's weight. Cool. That, I mean, that he has like ten, twenties, forties. So like what? It's, so basically, like in those like old old TV shows when he opens up his uh, jacket with crack, that's his mouth. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> but. I think that that's because uh, you know, he can just spit it. Yeah. yeah. Or know? swallow it. Yeah, or swallow it because they're double bagged. Right. So if he swallows it, he can just point. shit it back out. Yeah. yeah. That is pretty So smart. maybe you already had a shitty bag. Yeah, so, oh boy. Yeah. That's yeah. Bu- well, I mean, the crack was double back, so I got okay, inside of it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. even if you're smoking, I mean, does it really, at that point, does it really matter if you're smoking crack that's gone through someone's uh, digestive well, system? Well, so here's the thing that bothered me is that you, we just went to a regular convenience store like a non-branded 7-Eleven type thing, and walked in, and they have, next to the register, a little $3 kit that has Brillo, a crack pipe, and a lighter. Get and you here. can just buy a crack <laughs> kit. And it's like, that's, and you have to call it something else. They have it, yeah, like, sure. they call it as, like, a cleaning a kit tobacco. or something. You're yeah. like, hey, can I get a cleaning kit? It's $3. And it's like, it's so crazy to me that the the capitalism is like, well, if the market demands a crack kit, <laughs> we'll <laughs> sell a crack kit. <laughs> so we bought it. Uh, if you don't know, you take uh, the piece of like steel wool, you put it into the glass pipe, and then you put the crack on the other end of the steel mm. wool so that when you light it and it liquefies, it doesn't pull through and burn you. Ugh. So you do that, and then you rotate it. One thing I will say is it was very satisfying that it made a big cloud. Like uh-huh. I like to vape. I like the Someone the else said that. Things. Mason. But Mason. That was with, that was me- with meth. Oh, meth okay. also makes huge clouds. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, but, Mason was saying that he loved doing meth just, just for, that for the clouds. Fact. And I go, yeah. but that's just kind vape, of you, dog, that's yeah. kind of you with crack. Yeah, like, but he I, doesn't like doing. But crack. I didn't like doing it. I no. I did it the one time I was me and my buddy went and parked somewhere. I fucking hit it, and then like afterwards I was gripping the steering wheel, and it was like, and it felt like uh like I was like charging up with like power, yeah. and then it started waning almost immediately. Oh, like no. like it lasted so short that I understand why people are. Are like oh I got to do that again so because it feels like if you smoke a little bit more maybe the feeling gets better yeah but to me it was just like 
Edging. I just did like a pretty decent size amount and wasn't like super jazzed up about it. Right. Yeah. So I would like, you know, it's just, it's not, I don't enjoy uppers like that. And yeah. it just wasn't for me. That's probably good though, right? I guess. Well, if you don't <laughs> want a crack better. habit. Can I just yeah. say, I think it's better that you don't do crack. But I, I don't know. I mean, I. <sighs> I, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. If we can't agree on other things he can do. <laughs> yeah, like I, I mean, if I found crack and I loved crack, ta-da, journey's over. I found the thing I love. Yeah, you know, I, I don't have to keep searching. That's true. Oh, I love stand up. <laughs> Fuck, dude. No. I'm fu I'd rather love crack than stand up. <laughs> this is Mikey destroying my life. You know, <laughs> crack is at least affordable. <laughs> Everybody keeps saying that uh, stand up's destroying their life. Yeah, it kind of does. Wow. Well, oh. it's um, if you want to put like everything into it, you can't yeah. really have much outside of it. Yeah. Like if. I want to go and hang out with normal friends that are not comedians and I want to take a night off from work I am foregoing any chance at advancing my career that night yeah. and if it's like oh dude Wednesday uh, I'm gonna go hang out and see all my friends and then Wednesday someone's like hey are you free to do 10 minutes on the show like I have to say yes like my rule for me has always been that I have to say yes if I can yeah so like uh, I you know I have a day job and then I have comedy and so I have to do as much comedy as I can to make the day job make me not want to kill myself yeah it's like I have to do that to have money to live indoors until comedy pays enough for that so and even though I'm doing like big cool comedy stuff I got to open for the fucking best person to ever do comedy for real and I still have to have a day job because comedy just doesn't pay shit I mean like I'll go and do a weekend but even if I'm featuring I after the cost of the flight and the cost of the hotel or whatever the the club doesn't comp because it's a feature yeah you're not the headliner they don't give a shit and if the headliner is not selling a shit ton of tickets or isn't you know in a place that they can pay for that for you then it's like that's all on you but I got to go do that work so it's like my weekends are gone my weeknights are gone my like free time is gone like uh the most uh, like awesome and amazing thing that I do is like such an intense adrenaline high that unless I'm drinking or doing some kind of drugs, the come down from that means I'm not falling asleep until five or six a.m. So it just ruins your sleep schedule. And yeah. now like you're on a completely different calendar than the rest of the world. For real. Like it, there's a lot of it that's like, man, that fucking sucks. Yeah. But to me, it's worth it because there's nothing else that I've ever done that actually made me happy. Like stand up actually makes me feel fulfilled. Yeah. Uh, like when I get to go and do a new joke and I tell a story and I, something like when I was paying like at the fucking Planned Parenthood with my buddy, like doing the abortion thing, like in that moment, it was mortifying. I wanted to crawl inside myself and die. It was terrifying. Couldn't have been a more awkward way to lose your virginity and then have to deal with all of this and just the entanglement and the fear and the shame and the Catholic parents and the what's going to happen and who's going to find out and just all of that. And now it's something that I can joke about on stage and make 300 strangers laugh at like that is empowering and feels nice and is worth all the bullshit yeah i agree dude yeah, yeah because you know to turn it like being able to turn like this like shit into gold is uh is what it's you know is the fun part of it yeah um you're like oh yeah so you grew up in where's south lake uh it's in like the dallas fort worth area closer to fort worth and it's like uh, uh it's like a wealthy area yeah yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. It's to... cool. It's pretty sweet out there. That's awesome. It, it rips. <laughs> <laughs> so what, 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 what was your childhood like over there in South Lake? Um, so I moved there when I was in fifth grade from Dallas. Um, up until that point, uh, my dad, like my dad, when I was born up until my parents divorced when I was two. And then my dad was like homeless and shit, like trying to figure it out. And then he like went from and when I, by the time I was like eight, he was like living in a house. And then by the time I was like 12, we were moving to like a really wealthy zip code. And then by 14, moving into like a mansion in the smaller suburb of South Lake called Westlake. Yeah. It's like a little town of 800 millionaires, basically. Wow. So like the Jonas Brothers live there. Oh, like cool. my, my little sister How dated the bonus Jonas. You know, I TP'd their house in high school. That was like a. Hell yeah. That was like my like. Uh, the cars in the high school parking lot, like everybody had Mercedes and BMWs and stuff. Like my first car was a Jaguar. Like that shit was cool. But it's also like uh, it kind of fucked me up because I peaked so early. Like when I was uh, 15, we went for Christmas or for Thanksgiving to New York mm -hmm. and we stayed in the Waldorf Astoria. Wow. And we went and ate at Tavern on the Green in Central Park, this like fancy thing. We went and saw the Macy's Day Parade, and we did all this stuff. And I did the math on this not long ago. If I wanted to recreate that vacation for myself right now, it would cost like $38,000. That's crazy. Jeez. 
I don't have thirty eight thousand. <laughs> yeah, for real. And at fifteen, you know what I was doing? Listening to the album Iowa by Slipknot. <laughs> the whole time just, you were going, like, "This is fucking like, gay." This is fucking yeah. gay, yeah. dude. <laughs> a Waldorf salad, fucking gay. They put pears on lettuce, and now I'm like a super foodie. I'm like, I would kill a man for that. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Eating beluga caviar off a whalebone spoon so the metal doesn't taint the fucking yeah. chemicals in it. That was something that little me was like, "This is stupid. This is so stupid." And, and guess now what? I'm like, "That's so cool." You man. can recreate this and be listening to Slipknot the whole time and enjoying both. If I some if I win the lottery, <laughs> right. if if uh, if for some reason uh, someone at Netflix is like, we want to do dirty cum jokes on our platform now. Oh, they will. You know, they're yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> it, we're getting that way. But it's uh, it's just like all of that stuff. Then I didn't appreciate how great it was. Yeah. And now, like, so I did a gig in uh, San Francisco for Don't Tell, and I went to this like really cool venue, and it was like a really nice time, and I was like, oh man, on my drive back to LA, I'm gonna stop through Monterey, where we used to summer as like, when that's I was crazy. Like, growing you're up. The first, you're the first guest on Tommy Time <laughs> that's summered. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, 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 verb. Yeah. <laughs> I like to say it because it's the most pretentious yeah, thing in the whole thing. Yeah, no, it's great. Hey. We used but to it's summer, true, but it's, it's, yeah. it, everybody understands all the context of involved exactly. with summering. It's yeah. so, but yeah. yeah. It's, so it's, you, so did you stop in Monterey? So I, I, and I went and drove through there, and like now I'm an adult, so I went and had a drink at one of the bars there, and I looked at like the little shops I remember going in as a kid. And I remember like the places that I would stop with my family and get like a gelato and like look at the beach and I was doing all this and like I bought a gelato and it was like $17 and oh I was like God. fuck this <laughs> and, I, and I had like uh, like a Manhattan at the bar and it was like 40 bucks and I was like my God <laughs> dude these I, no I, more summering well there you. goes all of the money I made at the gig <laughs> Dude, and then <laughs> and then I drive down the PCH and it's all fucking beautiful and I'm listening to music and I'm driving and then I go through like the woods where you go away from the shore uh -huh. and for like Two and a half hours, there's zero bars of service, uh -huh. and I had nothing downloaded. So I'm just uh -huh. driving in silence <laughs> in the because now it's dark. So I'm driving in the silence in, in dark through the woods, just like this fucking sucks. Yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> all my money's gone. Just, all my money's gone. I'm gonna run out of gas and yeah. die in the woods. <laughs> you just you were just nostalgic for when you had money. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I but, but that's like it ruined. Like my first jobs that I had were jobs for fun that my dad made me get so that I would understand working. Yeah. yeah. And like, I do have, uh, like, because I've worked in service industry and I've waited tables and I've taken trash out, I have way more empathy for people in those situations. Like, I, I remember going out to eat with other, like, rich kids and then being so shitty to the certain, like, fucking with the silverware and, like, putting syrup on the table just to be funny. And it's like, yeah. dog, yeah. fuck you. Like, they have to clean that. So, like, it gave me that, so the mission accomplished for him. But then also all of the money I made on that, I spent on weed. Yeah. So it was like my brain used to be like, oh, Freddie, now you have money for weed. Yeah. This is my weed job. <laughs> and it's just like now, like I go to work and it's like, so I can afford weed, weed? right? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I mean, Dude, I'm going to buy $1,400 of weed. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's so stupid. Uh, but it, it definitely skewed my. But it's also one of those things where like, you could complain, but not a single person would listen. Yeah, no one gives Absolutely. a fuck, dude. No, but I understand Oh, that. your life was yeah. hard having a Jaguar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Was it, uh, did you have any embarrassing stories from that time? Like, was there, what's, 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 what's embarrassing when you're like a rich kid with a Jaguar? Like, what um, embarrasses you? Double, yeah, double teaming a chick. <laughs> double teaming Yeah, I mean, that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. I don't know that was embarrassing. She was, she was from the poor part of our district, so that was oh, kind of embarrassing. That's, yeah. Oh, that's wow. the embarrassing part. You, got you come to the poor chick? A <laughs> street rat? Yeah. yeah. She couldn't even afford a her own <laughs> Where does she summer? Nowhere? Oh, yeah. she doesn't In summer. In the same place she winters? <laughs> <laughs> what? Disgusting. <laughs> does she even December anywhere? Uh, <laughs> I mean, was, a lot of people bring up, you know, the time where they, they farted at an inopportune time, the time that they jerked off first yeah. and they did it weird uh, sometimes. I have I have a few. One of my favorites that's just, like, in my brain is a thing, like, I just remember when I can't fall asleep, is we were flying back from a family vacation. First and, class? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. Just oh, regular. Cool. Uh, just peasant class. But Jesus <laughs> Christ. Weird, uh, How did you survive? Economy, yeah. <laughs> I think it was because we were, at, like... Uh, we were coming back from Vermont, and so you have to fly uh, from the Burlington Airport to Albany, and then they Albany did, to they DFW. Didn't have first and class. it was yeah, they yeah. just wasn't there. But so the flight from Albany to DFW uh, is like a long fucking flight, and this is 
right around the era where there is porn readily available on the internet, but there's not internet readily available on flights. So yeah. if you don't have anything like pre-saved on your iPod Touch of or course. anything like uh, stored on like the the you take a video of it with your digital camera and then you can go and review the photos and oh, watch yeah. it on there. Yeah, never thought like, about if you don't, that. Yeah, you, you can get a, hey. <laughs> but if you Mother don't have any way to take porn with you, you got to just go to the old brain. And I got horny on the plane, and I was like, I'm going to go jerk off. So I go to the bathroom, and I'm trying to jerk off, and it's just taking fucking forever. Yeah. And I keep getting so close, and then it's gone, and then it's close, and it's gone. And then the flight attendant knocks on the door, <laughs> and I'm like, sorry, sorry. And then I'm like, all right. And then, like, I guess I like, get startled. It was like, oh, I'm going to get it. And so I, like, I, like, and then I was, like, really close, and then the door starts opening. And I'm like, ah, stop, what are you doing? And she goes, sir, you need to get out of the bathroom. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And so, like, I blushed. I'm super red in the face. And then I, like, you know, flushed to, like, try and make it look like I was shitting or something. I washed my hands. And then I opened the door. The other bathroom was out of order. And there's a line of, like, <laughs> 12 people that <laughs> have racked up waiting to use the bathroom. Oh my God. I was probably in there for 30 minutes. Oh, Jesus <laughs> and people are just Christ. waiting. So now, like, fat me that even as like a 13 year old is much larger than most adults has to like excuse excuse me excuse me and my face is just beat fucking red yeah. and i'm just like glowing hot like embarrassed just, like, excuse, yeah excuse, you excuse have me. like a half chub yeah. they walk in it smells like dick <laughs> and you just have to squeeze by this poor old lady that needs to take a shit and, I mean, and then I, I get back to my seat my, and my dad's like what happened i go foot got stuck <laughs> that's what you came that's up the, all you had to say was I had I I, I was constipated. Yeah. Oh, foot got stuck. Foot got yeah. stuck. He goes, ah. okay. Yeah. yeah okay. It makes Thanks no for telling me in- you jerked <laughs> off. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just tell me you jacked off in there. Dude, my poor dad, it, the the amount of denial that man has to be in. <laughs> I uh, know he knows. <laughs> he, he knows all. Of I don't think he can admit it to himself, or he'd put a gun in his of mouth. Of course. He, sure. So one time, I had the AOL dial-up internet, and we the, all did. The family computer was upstairs, right next to my room. Yeah. The little mm-hmm. computer room. room. Yeah. Computer rooms, computer room. guys. We, we had <laughs> the uh, masturbatorium, as we like to call <laughs> so it. We, my house. We had, so me and my little sister's rooms had like a Jack and Jill bathroom that joined in the middle with one shower, and then like uh, sinks on each side, and then room, room, and then it came around, and then the computer room was the area in between those two. So I could just sneak straight there from my room nice. at night. I'd throw a blanket over the modem so that the fucking dial-up noises didn't wake up everybody. Oh, yeah. And then I'd just fucking jerk away and have the time of my life. Absolutely. Sure. I got really into pretending to be a lesbian and having lesbian cyber sex with other oh, women. Oh, yeah. That's, like, so internet. Yeah, it's so, I, you know, you'd just be in the lesbian chat rooms like ASL. How, ma- how, <laughs> many, time- <laughs> how many times did you talk about your wet pussy is uh, my question. So It's always another dude. <laughs> so the thing... The, do you, does the phrase S2R mean anything to you guys? Hold on. Fuck yeah. S2R. This is some real grimy internet shit. Send to receive. Oh, when you're, oh, when you're in the oh, lesbian yeah, chat, yeah, you would yeah. just say ASL, and then you would say like 14F Texas S2R, which oh, means no. you have to send. Well, he was. I was, yeah, I was a child. I was a child. <laughs> I wasn't gonna lie and say I was old. Yeah, I was you... just lying and saying I was a woman. You can't tell two lies. Yeah, that's... <laughs> two lies and then it's true now. Yeah. <laughs> but you say S two R, and if you claimed S two R, then when someone DMs you privately outside of the chat room, they have to send nudes to receive your nudes. Yeah. Oh. So that was the way that you would be all horny. In there. You have so to you hit that trigger. You gotta hit the S two R. Like you're gonna lose the fuck because if you well, don't you say get... that, then everyone's like, send me your nudes, and you're like, I said S two R. Like, no, you fucking didn't. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Damn it. <laughs> and well, so, you got a stockpile by so, then. Yeah, so I have tons of nudes of, of just all the things to say, which, looking back on now, yeah. some of that was Oh, yeah. they, was just, they were girls my age. Yeah. yeah. And some of them were real girls just sending me pictures that they took on their digital camera. And, yeah. like, and then I'd you know, save those. And then so, but then eventually I was having cyber sex with a girl and I didn't understand what a clit was. <gasps> I thought it was a click. Oh. And I thought the yeah, good, you click it. and I thought the good thing about a click was if it was fat. <laughs> so I was cybering with this lady about how fat my click was. <laughs> <laughs> and then like she stops responding, like it goes from like typing to like stops responding, and then like thirty minutes later it just logs me out of AOL, and I try to log back in and it won't let me, and I try and log back in on the master account, like my dad's account, <gasps> and it won't let me, and then it says you have to call your internet service provider. 
So my dad had to call AOL and then they read him the dialogue from Fucking my lesbian chat right. room cyber sex. And he, he had to say, that's my 13 year old son. <laughs> Please give us our internet back. <laughs> and he never fucking brought it up to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God, dude. Your dad got busted for Wait, is that what, was that the issue? What? I, it, I have it, no idea. What the, he never talked to me about something. it. I just, I, I just reporting for I'm like certain that, that person reported, like, reported me and was like, hey, this is not a real lesbian. Okay, gotcha. I don't, no, 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 no. The internet, AOL's not going to investigate whether or not somebody's a real lesbian. <laughs> it Sir, was, is your son a lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> it was because of the... I assume. Yeah, yeah probably. But, <laughs> but, but yes, I didn't do that anymore. <laughs> Jesus. But then I had like another fucking nightmare when I tried to buy the Paris Hilton sex tape and just typed in a fake credit card number yeah. to see if it would work. Wait. And then it pops up with all the fraud messages and yeah. your IP address and says your city. And I'm just in my room just crying, waiting for the cops to come. I didn't it's, know they did that. It was just a scare tactic. Yeah, yeah. it worked. Yeah. You were scared. I was terrified. Absolutely. Jesus. So those, that was embarrassing. Yeah, that is embarrassing. Dude, Dude wait, how, how, how old are you? Fake credit cards on the internet. I'm 32. 32? Okay, yeah, that's yeah. that's that's prime AOL time. Yeah. Yeah, I used to, I never did that. I was too scared. Or maybe I did it a couple times, but never Cyber? never to the point of, yeah, to, to like getting into a chat room and trying to jerk off. Um, I was mostly in Back to the Future chat rooms, just talking about how much I love Back to the Future. That's wild. <laughs> <laughs> Which different is, lives. <laughs> different lives, brother. Different lives. The internet is for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Even no, it is. I, I mean, uh, there was so much good stuff on the internet. You could go on Miniclip and just play games for yeah, hours yeah. Oh. and then just tab over and be a lesbian for a while. <laughs> <laughs> also still playing games. Yeah. And, man, so there was such a wonderful world of, uh, like, when LimeWire... Oh, was yeah. around, you could use that for porn. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you could just type in a porn search term and download 50 fucking videos and then just scroll through those. My favorite was the Paris Hilton sex tape yeah. was on there frequently. I jerk off to that, but it's sure. green and annoying. This was after yeah. you tried to buy it? Yes. You go, why am I trying to do yes. this? No, yeah. this is much later. It's just like yeah. a nostalgia jerk. Yeah, yeah. It's like, because you'd have like, you know, I, or at least I did, like I had like 10, 15 ones that I really liked and I would just re download because yeah. you'd delete them so the parents don't find shit on your computer. Yeah. Uh, but there was one time I went to download the Paris Hilton sex tape and I download it, and then I get ready to jerk, and it was a shot-for-shot shot remake, but with Barbie dolls. What the fuck? <laughs> That's fun. Someone had taken That's the time funny. to make like a night vision shot-for-shot <laughs> oh, no shot remake of the whole, and it's it's the same leg, and it's like- Did it's, you watch the whole thing? All, I, I skipped through it, but it's just like, because you keep hoping like, oh, it's gonna go to the video. It's yeah. gonna, and then it never does. Dude, you got Rick rolled, That's, dude. It's so funny. That's, That's awesome. amazing, actually. Yeah, someone out there rules. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I wonder if we can find that person who made that. Man, I thought you were gonna say this because uh, one time I downloaded a porn that I thought it was gonna be a normal porn, and it starts out with a woman who's like on a uh, like a picnic blanket. She's outside. She's like masturbating, and you're like, "Ooh, this is nice." And it slowly zooms out in a very artistic way, and then you, it it uh, reveals that there is a donkey there with a hard penis, and she starts jerking him off. Oh so, no, a yeah. donkey show! <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> so anyway, did you ever again. see Mr. Hands? Yeah, yeah he's, I don't watch for that kind of shit. One man, one jar, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> that one was... I think that, that one was like... Yeah, that was oh, more No, I more. hate all of that. I don't think I've seen any of it because I don't want it in my There's head. There's a guy nailing his dick to a piece of I don't. Is that mm -hmm. the Pain Olympics? Yeah, dude. Uh, Pain Olympics fucking suck. All I did... All I had to do was watch a response. Like, watch people watch it. You, do you remember those videos? Yeah. The reactions, and I go, there's yeah. no way I'm watching it. Do you ever yeah. see, like, any of the Faces of Death stuff? I of used course. to when I was a kid. Yeah. Eating yeah. monkey brains and stuff. So I distinctly remember, like, one of the things was we were... Uh, at my dad's, like the late in the from fourteen to eighteen, we lived in this like super mansion that had a movie theater. And I remember there's five or six of us, and we're watching Faces of Death or whatever it was. But Bud Dwyer's suicide oh, is yeah, on there. Oh yeah, and he pulls the gun out and he shoots himself, and then it cuts to just that blood just yeah. never Holy stops flowing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like all of us are so scarred that I went and was just like, the only way to fix this is hardcore porn. And so I, <laughs> I just, I had put on porn for me and my buddies. And then my dad walked in on like six teenagers all just crying watching porn because <laughs> we're all just scarred from Bud Dwyer. We're just like, Dad, it's not the porn. And then there's just like a lady get railed out of like a, a huge game. She's like, he's like, well, maybe I don't need. To teach you a lesson. It seems like you've already learned. Yeah, it's <laughs> just like I don't know. I don't know what's going on in here. I'm not dealing with this fucking shit. Yeah. Did he say anything to you? Did he no. say close the door. Yeah. Close the door. Close That's the, door. the only response. Yeah. This is like I don't want to know any of what's going on. Yeah. In here. Are, you, are your boys all right? Yeah, man.
Yeah, it just seems like you guys are gay and you're trying to like <laughs> watch porn until you're straight again. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Well, I hope it works. You stay in there till it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah smoke this whole pack. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Well, great, <laughs> great, great, uh, <laughs> great, dude. No, uh, so you're like, um, are you? You're working on a documentary, right? Awesome. Yeah. What What's your involvement on that? Uh, so I uh, helped film a bunch of it, and then I was like motivation for it. Oh, cool. So uh, it's we're in like the production stages now, where we where you like fixing everything in post. So, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Because we so the the idea was Darian Irwin, my buddy. Uh, lost like 240 pounds. Yeah, it's fucking incredible. Big old boy. Amazing. Big old boy, and then he lost all this weight, and then he decided he was going to ride a bicycle from Austin to Vegas Ooh. for Skankfest. Yeah. So it, Oops. you know, it was. It was How far two, is that? 1300 miles. Yeah, it was about 1300 miles. 1450 about was what it ended up would have been. And uh, we get an RV and we follow him, and uh, it's you know it's a cool journey of a comedian trying to make it and the trials and tribulations of the road and just the the harrowing journey of riding a bike that fucking far on the side of a highway, and uh, it's kind of an analogy. But then spoilers uh, on day eleven after a hundred and four miles, he's got like twelve miles left. He's finally made it into Arizona. One hundred and four miles that that day. Uh, yeah, that day. So he, you wow. have to do that. Oh right. If you're gonna make, he has to do like yeah. one hundred and fifty miles every day. Yeah, so right. he's flying, and then so he there was a couple days where he did like two hundred and two fifty. Like it was just like putting in a shit ton of miles, yeah. and then we get ahead, and then we hit a bunch of wind, and so he's riding into twenty mile an hour headwinds. Oh. So even downhill, he's only going five. So the whole day he's getting like 35, 40 miles. So we're getting way behind scheduled. So now he's riding at night because there's no wind at night. And yeah. then one of the nights, um, I have been sleeping on this, like it's basically a table like this, but with padding on it. Mm -hmm. So I've been sleeping on that. I decide we're in Grants, New Mexico is where we're stopped. I'm gonna go and get a hotel for myself for the night. They're gonna ride through the night. We'll meet up tomorrow. We'll all be refreshed and ready to go. He rides 104 miles into the night. He makes it into Arizona. And then there's a pothole. He hits it, flies over the handlebars, separates his shoulders. Oh, no, dude. So he, Both of them? Uh, just one of them. Oh, so, yeah. But he separates his shoulder, and it so it fucks his shoulder up real bad, and then because they're in the middle of nowhere, it's two hours to the nearest hospital. Oh, oh wow. So they gotta drive, and then it's just the... But he, someone was driving driving beside yeah, him. Yeah, so okay. we had like a follow car for yeah, safety yeah, yeah. and stuff, yeah. but uh, just like the... The is he gonna make it? He's you know getting ahead. He's crushing these miles. Yeah. Now it's just like a matter of like, is he gonna make it on time? And then oh no, he doesn't make it. But there's something that's uh, really beautiful about the story because it's like it, it was never about if he could actually ride the bike. No one actually gives a shit if you ride the bike. It's that you tried to do this crazy thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the same thing with comedy. Like it's it's you're trying to do the crazy thing, and it's just like uh, you have to keep trying to do the crazy thing. So it's, it's just a cool story. So that's I'm, cool. Along for the ride, filming and making fun of it. I, uh, you and Dean Stanfield, right? Dean Stanfield, Matt Boyd was gotcha. also there. That's fun. Uh, yeah. The Nick Barr is our producer. Yeah, but... that'll be a good documentary, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be cool. And there's uh, there's some really funny stuff in there too. I I tried to find Darian a massage one night, Ooh. and ended up finding Ooh. myself a massage instead. <laughs> was it a jerky one? It was, dude. Yeah. How do you find the? I mean, I've never looked in earnest, but I just want to know. It's not in that the future. hard. So. Like, I um tips for tips for the tummy time militia how to find a <laughs> so this is the thing and, and this is it if you see me on stage it's gonna be funny because it sounds like I'm just doing half my fucking act but n my newest seven minutes is just the story of this lady jerking me off because <laughs> the thing is I have I've purchased hookers a few times in my life yeah and I've paid for sex workers and that's it's great it's fun it's easy but generally the way that I find them is they either approach me in Vegas or like a cab driver or someone that's connected to wherever the places that they do sex out of. Uh, will like advertise to me when I get into their vehicle very drunk. So like that's the way I found them. This one, I'm literally just looking for a legitimate massage. A place shows up called Chinese Massage. <laughs> and, and, okay, that's and, pretty easy. And I well, but so I wasn't thinking like Jerk Shack. Yeah, yeah. Because it's Clovis, New Mexico. Yeah. No one's gonna. Well, be... you don't think they like getting jerked off in Clovis, I, dude? I just assumed like that's there's. It's the oldest well, profession. It's such a small town that right. if no, there's a Jerk you. Shack. The cops would know about it right away. They well, know. They it's do. on fucking oh. Google Maps. So like, and in my like world, like justice works or whatever, because I'm an idiot. And so, I call the place. A lady answers and yells at me in a language I don't understand. Hell yeah. And so I'm like, oh, well, this is it was it's something else. So I just I hang up. I'm like whatever, it's money laundering. Uh, and then I get a text from the number, and the lady says like, I don't speak any English, but if you text, I have a translator. Are you looking for a massage? 
And I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I am. And then Dean and Darian are both like, that is a jerk off place. And I'm like, <laughs> I've never done that. I want to do that. How much is it? You know? And so then Dean drives me. Uh, we go there. Um, I go around to the back. I knock on the door. So it was $40 for half an hour or $80 for an hour. I brought $100 and told her I wanted just a half an hour. And I figured the extra 60 would be enough for that. So the first thing that she does when I get through the door is she looks at me and she just goes, <laughs> and I was just flabbergasted that like, <laughs> like what? Like that's, 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 blatant. that's the intro. So like <laughs> nice to meet you. But then also, yes. Yeah. So, yes. Uh, yeah. Please. Yeah. And I'm so happy. She probably sees my face light up and then I hand her the hundred dollars and she counts it. Uh, and then she walks me back to the back room and, uh, 25 minutes of an incredible massage. Yeah. Fucking ruled. That's nice. And then nice. she turned me over and finished me off and it was, She's good? Unbelievable. Yeah, she well, knows how to work it. Dude, it, but also, this that woman's life experience has got to be the craziest because she's a between 40 and 60-year-old Chinese woman that is maybe four foot eight yeah. and uh, 80 pounds, uh-huh. and she lives in Clovis, New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She is the only Chinese person in <laughs> Clovis, New Mexico. How'd you get here? And, and Tell me. And it's just like, how... How did you end up at this place owning this building and then you did Oh, she runs the place. She yeah, for sure. Okay, it's good. For sure. Good for her her place. She's the one who's yelling Chinese on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh so I guess she probably has her family there because there were like some other like walls. Like it, it was an interesting building, but there were some other walls and I could smell food like behind oh, it. And nice. I was like, How much for that? You know, like, <laughs> hey. can I get like a to go bag also? Like there's an ATM across the street, you know? <laughs> Dude, jerk you uh, off and feed you? That's oh, oh my god. god. That's a deal. But it was uh it was interesting because it wasn't like, I don't know, when I jerk off, I'm jerking off for, uh, like, just to get it done. Yeah, get the yeah. I'm not, off. like, there to treat myself. No. I'm not there, like, oh, let's, let's tease. <laughs> like, I, I'm just like, you know, just <laughs> break it off and throw yeah. it away. Exactly. Like, I'm I'm just trying to get the poison out. It's an efficiency thing. But she was, like, so nice and oh, tender she was about nice. it. Wow. And she was doing weird stuff with her fingertips and, like, hot oil. And it... I, it felt I a couple of times like I looked down to confirm that there wasn't a second person. That's nice. Because it was just like Jeez. she has so many fingertips. Wow. <laughs> it was like, that's so cool. Anytime I imagine this situation, I imagine the Asian woman like yelling at me. <laughs> like, you hurry. So she well, she didn't speak any English. And that and so well, was, she could still yell at you. <laughs> she didn't say anything. Uh so this part was weird. When I got hard and she started doing like the actual jerking part, she uh pulled her tits out and then she went, eh. <laughs> and, and squeezed my nipple oh, and then what? squeezed her nipple to like show me like you can oh, do this you if you touch. want to yeah. oh, nice, and nice. it was just like why that noise can <laughs> <laughs> I it again she, eh. <laughs> it was just like it's an Asian <laughs> hawk dude dog what <laughs> but the the part of it that I was most impressed by is at the end when I come she, I didn't give her like any kind of warning I, I mean, maybe there's some physical signs I, sure. that I don't know of that she could detect or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. But she, as the first like load <laughs> came out and was in the air, she grabbed a Kleenex from beside her and caught it. No way. <laughs> what the fuck? Not only did she catch that one, she caught the subsequent one. Oh, ones. no way. Oh, not a, I swear what? to God, not a drop <laughs> touched me. Dude, what an it, expert. It was exactly like the, the scene in Spider-Man in the first one with Tobey Maguire yeah, when he catches all the Mary Jane shit on the tray. <laughs> like, she fucking... <laughs> But instead of food, <laughs> yeah, it's my nut, dude. <laughs> this lady rocks, dude. Yeah, Are man. you gonna go back and visit this lady? A hundred percent. But I don't want to blow up their spot too bad. But this is a real thing. If you go on Google Maps, yeah. type in Chinese massage. I mean, Clovis. Can yeah, we pull that's it up? Kind of blow, oh, okay. That is yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. blowing it up. Yeah. I, I don't care. Yeah, I, I, I want to see Chinese massage. So it's the top one. Um, <laughs> but I did not notice stars. this. But so that's that's the gas station where you got to get cash. And then <laughs> if you go to the reviews, flip. yeah, just go to the reviews. That's the best part. Okay. So there, there's a five star review from a guy. Oh, there's only seven reviews. Yeah. Well, it's Clovis, New Mexico. What the fuck, dude? Sorry. Very well, nice lady. Uh, great service. Very comfortable away. facilities. That's so great. Wait, but okay, very nice lady. Good luck getting in. Seems sketchy. All right, now this Jason one is the one I want. If you know, you know. Uh, uh, look at this smiling like twenty year old. Click his face. Click his face. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, Jason? Ja no, Jackson. Jackson. Even better. Jackson, Jackson Bakula. Dude. Dude. He, just, like, he God, might be dude. the cooler guy in the world. He doesn't man. give dude, a shit. If you know, you know. Look at that smile. Uh, 
smug That's awesome. Shout got out. five ups too. Jesus. My kitty go purr. Jesus. Oh, oh I'm not He's been there in. twice. <laughs> he checked in too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Heck, oh, this guy just heck says, yeah. heck yeah. Three, yeah. Stars. Three stars. Wow, dude. I assume I lo- that the other one is a, I don't know. Fang Lin. Fang Lin. He's no, a, he's they were trying to get the, the base level SEO. In. Yeah, exactly. So she had some friends sign in and give some reviews. And yeah. he's like, you know what? I'm going to have to test the service and first. And Jackson was like, if oh, you yeah. know, you know. Oh, he yeah. said it again. I did, oh, did y'all already see yeah, this? Yeah, My yeah, kitty go sure. purr? Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude. Love can't this get guy. enough, dude. Jackson yeah. can't get enough. This guy, dude, you know, you relate to this face, right? I mean, this is, I mean this is, that's a man who's everything. just had his entire load caught by a small Chinese woman at the Kleenex. <laughs> just like the Matrix on dude, that it's, shit. Jeez, it was so incredible because she took the Kleenex after that and she balled it up and like kobe it into a trash can on the other side yeah. of the room. The touch was just like... And then she kissed me on the cheek and said, thank you. That's beautiful. And I was like, why did you learn that? Yeah. No, I, well, no. There's so many other words you could have used <laughs> yeah. in this whole transaction, yeah. and you just learned thank you. Yeah. That's kind of sweet. I liked. I I've never been thanked for coming. I've never been thanked for coming, and I think that would be nice. It it, it was. <laughs> Doc, it was. God. If I had had more cash, she would have had it. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> she yeah. was, wow. God, what a what a heartwarming tale. Dude. Absolutely. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> well, where can people find you there? Uh, <laughs> you can find me at the Chinese <laughs> Massage in Clovis, New Mexico. <laughs> you can find me at Rug Maps. No, uh, oh my God. <laughs> What's that? Oh, don't worry about okay. that one, baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that one, oh. sweet baby boy. <laughs> uh, no, Mike is eaten on uh, all the social media at stuff. Mike dot is dot eaten. Yeah. There you go. Excellent. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So this is coming out November 6th. Anything big coming out before then, the, like a show or something uh, like that? November 13th, uh, The Creek in the Cave. I'm going to be filming a special for OnlyFans. Oh, nice. Oh, excellent. So LMAOF is nice. coming out. And uh, if you're in Vegas, January 14th, I'm headlining Wise Guys. So come oh, on awesome, down. Dude. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where can they find our gay asses? We're on social media at Tummy Time TV. TummyTime.tv is our website. Uh, True Social, Patreon.com, all that good stuff. Um, We'll see you next Tummy Time. Bye-bye.